Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to go over some exam questions on working out the missing angles in irregular polygons. So let's start off with this first example. So A, B, C, D, E is a pentagon. Work out the size of angle A, B, C, which is marked with an X. So the first thing we're going to do then is work out the sum of interior angles for the pentagon. So the sum of interior angles is what the angles all add up to in a pentagon. And to get the sum of interior angles, S stands for the sum, you do the number of sides take away 2 times 180. So a pentagon has 5 sides and 5 angles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've just got to take 2 off this and times the answer by 180. So 5 times 2 is 3. And 3 times 180 is 540. You might remember this fact. Um, some people actually know what that is. So we now add up these four angles that we've got. We've got 95, 86, 117, 123. So we've got 6, 11, 18, 21, 9, 17, 18, 20, 22, 2, 3, 4. So we've got 421. So if we take 421 off 540, that will give us the missing angle X. So 10 take away 1 is 9, 3 take away 2 is 1, 5 take away 4 is 1. So that is our first answer. So let's move on to the second example then. So this time we've got hexagon. Angle C, D, E, so that's this one here, is double B, C, D, so that's this one here. So I'm going to say that one is X and that one is 2X because it's double the size. So first of all then I'm going to work out the sum of interior angles for my hexagon. So it's going to be the number of sides take away 2, so hexagon has 6 sides. Take away 2 times 180. So 4 times 180 is 720. Again, you might remember that angles in a hexagon add up to 720 degrees. So if I add up the four angles that we've got and take it away from this number, so we've got 129, 144, 121, and 125. So we've got 9, 13, 14, 19, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got 519. So if we take this away from 720, so 0 take away 9, we can't do. 10 take away 9 is 1. 1 take away 1 is 0. 7 take away 5 is 2. So these two angles which we've got here have got to add up to 201. So if we add 2x and x up, that is 3x. So we know that 3x equals 201. So we've just got to divide 201 by 3. So x comes out as 67. Okay, so this angle here would be 67. And we just need to double that now. So 2 times 67 is 134 degrees. So that is angle CDE. So it's 134. Let's look at our final example then. So this is the hardest one. So again we've got a hexagon. 
So the hexagon has one line of symmetry. So the line of symmetry is down here. Um, we've got angle A, B, C is 117. Angle B, C, D, so B, C, D is 2 times angle C, D, A. So if we call that one X, that one there would be 2X. Okay, so I'm just going to mark the other angles in. So since there's a line of symmetry, that would mean that one is also X. That one is also 2X. And that one is 117. So let's work out the sum of interior angles for a hexagon. Okay, so it's the same as the last one we did. So it's 6 take away 2 times 180, which is 720. So I'm now going to make an equation by adding up all these angles. So if we add up the x's, we've got 2x, so 2x is 4x, 5x, 6x. Add up the numbers, 117, add 117, will be 234. And we're going to make that equal to 720. So if we solve this equation, that will give us the value of x. So if we take 234 off both sides, that will give 6x equals 486. And then divide by 6. So 486 divided by 6 is 81. So this would mean that x is 81, so that's 81, that's 81. This one was 2x, so 2 times 81 is 162. So which angle did we need? We needed angle AFE, so that's that one there, which is 100. And 62. So I hope you like this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.